new combo attack for the magic rod, not that I've used it yet. So guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyrule Warriors. So in the last episode, we made it through Elden uh, Caverns, and in this episode we're going on to Farron Woods, but first I'm dropping by here to buy some of these things. Just want to get some upgrades for my characters. Okay, the original attacks is B B B B B B B, but you can go B Y Y Y for other combos. Uh, so if I press B three times in a row and press Y, then I get the strongest combo, I guess. Or I can just keep mashing B. Strong attack. All right, so makes sense. I don't have that extra thing yet to uh, upgrade Link. But instead, I can go into here, and let's see, darkness, light, lightning, let's upgrade Link with a Zora Tunic, uh, let's upgrade Link with a, let's see, darkness element. Let's get the mirror shield. Oh hey, it's the uh, Majora's Mask mirror shield, that's awesome. And let's get the magic armor. I like how these are all references to different Zelda games, that's pretty awesome. Assist badges, we don't have anything for that. But what I can do is I can start upgrading her. Or should I do Sheik right now? First things first, of course, Monster Tooth, because you know, we have 38, well, we had 38 of them. We can't do anything else with Sheik right now. So instead, we're going to do Impa and reduce, so increase the healing effects from hearts. Let's reduce fire, as well as lightning. And we can also use a monster tooth to get Furore's Wind. Slightly speeds up the process of taking keeps. That's awesome. Oh, I should have kept some. I didn't even think about this. Slight increase in the duration of bomb power-ups. Moderately speeds up process of taking keep. So we need one other thing here. But we can at least get her this. Him. This. Why did I say her? That's weird. Um, use rubies to level up. Oh! You can spend rubies at the training dojo to help warriors rank up. However, you would not be able to raise their levels beyond that at the current highest level warrior. So guys, we're going to move on to Farron Woods now. We're of course going to use Link since he's the recommended, and he can use the magic rod. Link and his allies were saved from the dangers of the Elden Caves by a mysterious youth named Sheik. Joined by their new ally, Impa's troops exited the caves and emerged in Farron Woods. There, they found a hidden village overrun with monsters. While Link and Impa wanted to continue their search for Zelda, they could not ignore the plight of the villagers. Without hesitation, they sprang into battle. Alright, so that's the story of this. Let's just go into here... well... Okay, battlefield info... Oh, there's a new person here. I probably shouldn't have looked at this yet. Warrior info... Not what I'm looking for. I guess I should have looked at the uh, thing to see who could have got the gold skull blood beforehand. I'm assuming it's anyone at this point in the game. Okay, so these are Twilight Princess enemies. Lana. Is that a new person or is that... Uh, person from a different game. Okay. Oh well, I'm a sorceress. That's descriptive. Wait. That's kind of demanding. You might tell us. Well, fair enough, she does need the help. Obviously, since, you know, she's having to do all this stuff with a ragtag team. 
ragtag group, whatever. Scatter those Hylian pests. Exterminate them. Well, forget you. Oh, that's cool. You can actually bend the fire. Real thorn on our sides. Walk into my fire. I dare you! Alright. So, with this, I should actually... Since I'm playing pretty much a mage version of Link now, I have to do crowd control, rather than actually just rushing through and cutting down everything. I need to watch my back with this, or else, you know, damage and whatnot. Defeat the Deku Baba. It's poisonous weed. My attacks have no effects. We need a new strategy. How about this for a strategy? Oh. Okay, you're just gonna... Okay, you need bow and arrow to kill it? That was a waste, oh well. In this settlement. I mean, like, right around here? Yeah, down here. I love that you can just twist that and hit them all. Though I'm not sure how I feel about this uh, fire rod yet. I'm not quite as fast as I'm used to being with Link. Uh, I, I hope I hope that I you know learn how to use this better, or else I probably won't use this much in the future. It's kind of like using one of those abilities in the actual games. Wait, big tree southwest the... Oh, so in the southwest corner of the map. All the same, I've almost taken this camp anyway. Yeah, and this guy is about to burn. Okay, we got the south square, so now that they're all spawning here, I don't mind uh, heading out. Uh, right. Uh, west, not north. <laughs> Where, what am I even doing? Ow. How am I... How am I even supposed to get there, then? Okay, you can walk past them right up here. And you can have the tree up here, and you are then getting the bow and arrow? Please? Thank you. And, of course, it needs to do the chest thing with Link. Wait, now that I think about it, did it even do it with him? Uh? Oh well. You got the bow and arrow. Use the arrows to hit far away enemies. You can also target and attack strong enemies. Whoa! Actually, that's a really nice thing. Someone send us support! Ah, you guys are fine. Okay, so better go and uh, kill us some Deku Babas. I don't even know how they were surviving in that poison mist. I can't even enter it without taking damage. Whoa. That's actually really cool. Alright, uh, focusing on this again, sorry. I kinda got distracted with that awesome thing. That. And there's a Deku Baba right down here. Wait, did they just kind of spawn in?
Oh well. There we go. Gotcha. Now that I've done that, come on, please tell me I'm gonna be fighting some big guys. Southern Tree and Western Tree are both open. Alright. Everything in the path is going to die. Wait, did it just fire the wrong direction? It just fired the wrong direction! Okay, so it doesn't orient. Okay. Nice to know that it doesn't orient itself depending on uh, who I'm targeting. It's really more based on uh, uh, which direction I'm facing when I activate my abilities. Okay, that said, at least I know that now. Finish the keep boss off. Well, not really the keep boss, but, you know, Wish Rose. Gibdos. Towards the deck. Dang it! You can't just let the Deku tree die. That would be monstrous of me. Come on, where are you? Oh, I just walked past them. Okay, Gibdos, here I come. You're all being affected by my burning. Bye, Gibdos. Oh. They can... Oh, okay, I forgot. Gibdos are just, uh... Mr. Zombie Man uh, in the mummy form. I forgot about that. Which, do they appear anywhere outside of Majora's Mask? Come on. Burn this one. Ah, come on, guys. Wait, what? I'm confused what just happened. Somebody send us support! Really? Oh my gosh, that's... That's awesome. Link defeated a Gipto. I need to head south now. Get down there before they do. Oh, post captain, I'm gonna have to skip by you. Don't have time for you. Instead, I have to head in here and kill you all. Owned. Oh, he can, he can do an area of effect around him. Okay, area effect around him again. Gotcha. At least I can do it. A ranged attack from here. And you're all burning to death. Including that Gibdo. I even got a weapon. Wow, that's actually really cool. What well, Ruth, this gives us time to catch our breath, right? Uh, you just opened your mouth, didn't you? Who opens their mouth about that kind of thing? Oh god. 
You're burning the great Deku tree. No. I could be to blame for this. Uh, how do I? Okay, that's how. Hey. And I feel the presence of the great fairy. Okay, good. I was worried about that for a minute there. That I was I have to run around and do all that by myself. Find the great fairy. Where would a great fairy be? I'm gonna head this direction. Okay, come on. To run through all this, all these areas. Bunch of Gibdos. If I can head up here, that's where I need to be heading. Okay, no, actually, that was the thing. Mm -hmm. Let's burn you all. I just need to get the right orientation to do that with. And since, you know, I'm going into a fairy fountain anyways, might as well use my magic. Make sure she knows how uh, powerful I am. Okay, that's awesome. And I have full magic again, anyway. You might want to attack that, but I'm not going to suggest you to actually do it. I feel like you're a pedophile. I would make a boot joke, but you know, those have been overmade recently. By everyone who's ever played Zelda. Like the triangle tits down to the more circular tits later on. Thank you, great fairy, for lending us your power. The power of the Ninth Circle put out the fire in the Deku Tree, and that should raise our morale as well. <laughs> Alright. Next. Uh, next. Oh my gosh, that cannon, though. That was kind of wasted, though. That last one. Oh well. I still got that SP I needed for that. I am getting the hang of this a bit better now, so I can actually burn them all down at once. Let's just burn all these guys down. And they're all dead. I know I'm not talking as much as I should be. I should be, like, just being a chatterbox right now. I'm just... I don't know, I, I, this is my first time playing through, and I'm also a bit tired since it's like after 3am. My sister's birthday was today, and well, you know, I, good times. <laughs> so I had a lot of uh, cheesecake, and now I'm just kind of energetic, but also tired at the same time, if you know what that means, if you know what that's like, I mean. Control the western tree. I should go for the southeastern. I'm probably about to head over the southeastern then.
Yeah, I'm gonna head to southeast, take over that one so we can control every single one at once. There's probably a medal for that, right? I would imagine so. Actually, is this one? No, this one's blue, it's not contested. For some reason, when I see a blue and red flashing like that, I immediately assume, you know, oh hey, someone's trying to take it over. I guess that's not really for some reason. That makes sense that you would assume that. Oh, I just burnt those guys a lot. Oh, Gold Skulltor. Finally, Gold Skulltor. I'll have to run up there and do it. Work together, we can save this world. Alright, I don't mind doing that. But now I'm just going to head to the west and get that Gold Skulltor because I'd rather get the Gold Skulltor than actually get the uh, last one in the southeast. I think it's when you get a thousand kills? That's what I'm assuming, at least. That's when the gold skull door pops up? Ah, oh, come on, need to hurry up. Gotta go fast. Um... <sighs> it's right there. And I don't have bombs. Can you... Can you really not? You can't do it without bombs. Never mind, guys. I can't even do it. Which means that I'll have to figure out how to do that later. Or come back here at a later date with bombs in hand. Maybe when you do the replays, you can actually bring other items in. That's possible. So, sadly, I can't do it right now, guys. Unless I get a bomb from killing this guy up. Uh, this boss guy up here. Not boss guy, keep guy? I don't know, boss keep, that's what the thing is called. Oh, come on. Sheik has captured the enemy base. Chop Sheik. Got you all. Fear my combos. My power attacks, my everything, really. Yep, he fled, of course. That's a good feeling, killing all these guys. All right, now I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out this boss captain. And I also think there's a Gibdo behind him. Yep, sure enough, there was. And we leveled up again. Now that we've taken out all of those guys, I can head up here and take out this last set of guys. And I'll have taken over the entire map before even getting to the final area. Sheik did all that battle by, her, by himself. I guess I'm just so used to having all those party members. All those female party members, I should say. Deal the Gibdo. at all of you. I guess that was just for defeating the Gibdo. There's no actual base here. Oh, actually. Oh, come on. Can I... Oh, that's a grapple hook spot, which means I have to come back at a later date. Great! I guess that is some replay value. Go to secret areas and stuff, get hidden collectibles and stuff. And it's not bad because I'm probably going to play this game through like a good 30 times. So it makes sense. I plan on playing this game to death in the future, but for now it's all from my recording stuff. 
Alright, let's head... Oh, Wizro. I didn't realize they were fighting the... Oh, my crap, I hit my mic. I didn't realize they were fighting the boss right now. It killed them. No, the wizard got away right as I got here. Oh, come on. Too fast. What are you talking about? Oh, the real boss battle. Is this supposed to be Goma? I think this is supposed to be Goma. Yep. Also, I keep hitting my mic. That was a waste. Victory conditions have changed once again. Okay, that's how you do it. Oh, that's powerful. Did it? Did it just... Yeah, it legitimately... It just left. Strike of the deck... Dude, that's just not okay. Doing that to my childhood is not okay. You've already done it once. Don't do it again. If you kill the Deco Tree again, I'm going to murder your face off. I'm going to do that anyway. I'll just make sure it's a lot more painful this way. Okay. The weakness is already obvious. Okay, I'm more one health. Like, really, really. Ow. Ow. If you could stop comboing me. Okay. I'm about to die. I just missed my chance to beat it, pretty much. Come on. I just need to get by. Thank you. Gotcha. And now I can burn you with my X attack. Okay. And now I hit you with the... Oh, I impaled your eye. Okay, so you can roll past that. No, it's not. I don't know who gave you the idea that we were about to lose this battle. Come on. Okay, maybe I will lose this battle because I suck. Come 
on, do an eye attack again. Make yourself weak. What? Okay. I'm not complaining, but all the same. Is it healing itself? Alright, so we just head across this bridge and we kill it, right? There's nothing extra? Come on, come at me. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to do an eye attack. Gotcha. And you are of the dead. Gummo was defeated. Yeah, Gummo was defeated. We even got a, uh, we took down that huge thing. Good job, everyone. There's a sol That's a solid win for us. Yeah, I don't recognize her, so I'm going to assume she's a uh, person who's added to this game only. She might be based off one of the gods. I don't know. Apparently that hope was in vain. Also, she gives a weird look to Link sometimes. For generations, Hyruleans have told the tale of the war across the ages. This is how it begins. Deep in the forests, far from mortal eyes, a great sorceress watched over the balance of the Triforce. Through her magic, she could see across ages, able to read the fates of all who lived, but never interfering. That is, until a unique soul caught her attention. Of course, Link. The soul of the hero of legend, eternally reborn when Hyrule's need is greatest. Through her powers, the sorceress should have seen that the hero was bound to another. Instead, she saw only a soul that was unlike any she had known. And while the sorceress was preoccupied, a fragment of darkness Locked in its prison, saw an opportunity. That's supposed to be Ganondorf? The whispering darkness wormed its way into her heart. It pushed the light away and warped her curiosity into a desperate desire to possess the legendary hero's soul. Of course, this evil had its own desires. To use the Triforce to resurrect itself and conquer Hyrule once again. Having pushed the light from her heart, the darkness compelled her to open the Gate of Souls, the doorway of time itself. Monsters from across the ages pour through the gate bringing ruin to the land of Hyrule once more. Oh, okay, that explains why we're fighting monsters from across everywhere. Clear bonus, time, KOs, bonus earned, and rupees. Alright, sweet. Strength 4 on the fire rod. I can obtain strength 4 for the sh uh, sword and shield, and water plus for the uh, bigger on the knife, I think. Heavy Gibdo sword. 
Goma's Acid Gross, 4 Gibdos Bandages, and 13 Metal Plates. And you can also now use Lana as a person. Spirit's Tome. A magical tome held by a guardian of dimensions. Use the strong attack button to leap ahead. Leaping from magic wolves you created detonates them, damaging any nearby foes. Alright, that's interesting. The smithy is now open for business. You can use it to combine weapon skills by fusing weapons. Press plus now to go to the bazaar. Or I could not. No, I will go here just for a minute. Instead of going to smithy though, I will go in here and see if I can, yep, metal point. I can make Farrar's Wind. That's awesome. I can make this. Oh, I can make all of those for her. Wow, I can do a lot of stuff right now. Guys, I'll be right back. Actually, no, I'm going to let you guys see this part. I know it's a little bit at the end of the episode, but this is the last thing I'm doing tonight before I head to sleep. Okay, give those bandages. Uh, I want to see what else I can do. Do I need to give those bandages for any of these things? Yes, I do. Mm, I need it for all the things here. Good thing I didn't do that. Let's use Mirror Shield. And let's just use the Sacred Shield. Alright. Use a metal plate here. Don't know how a metal plate turns into a bottle, but you know. Monster Tooth, because you know, cookie or swords. Apparently made from monster teeth. And old rags are used to make Farrar's Wind? What? Not sure how that works, but okay. Okay, so guys, next time on Let's Play Hyrule Warriors, we're going to be going to the Valley of Seers. We're going to be really just trying to figure out what's going on, where Zelda is, trying to save Hyrule from this weird fate that is upon us. So guys, I'll see you then. And you just get hit by my X button. Sorry! I know it's not exactly what you wanted to hear, Wizro, but...